Hey, what's up? It's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. And boy, now, with this bombshell dropping, I wonder what the comic book industry are going to say now. That Mark Millar was allegedly told that 95% of the comic book audience is not on Twitter, says statistic must be mind-blowing for the company marketing departments. For Marvel, DC, and whoever else thinks that the audience that they pander to is the people that they listen to on Twitter, which is completely wrong. The fans have been saying it. You got pros like Ethan Van Skyver, your boy Zach, Richard C. Meyer, and you have Comicsgate sitting here telling Marvel, DC, and anybody else that would listen that you guys are pandering to a demographic off of Twitter and what Twitter has to say that doesn't even buy your comics. And now we understand why the fuck things are going the way they're going. I got to read the rest of this shit. Veteran comic book writer Mark Millar has claimed that he was recently informed by a marketing expert connected to one of the big two publishers, DC or Marvel, that 95% of the comic book audience is not on Twitter, a revelation which he believes must be mind-blowing for the company marketing departments. My thing is, is this something that they knew all along or is this something that they're just finding out? Because the thing is, Marvel and DC could have been knowing this the whole time and just not give a fuck. Or if this is something that they're just realizing, what happens from this point on? Fuck. <laughs> Oh shit, Millar revealed that this opposed statistic on May 28th, tweeting from his personal Twitter account, here's an amazing stat I heard yesterday, only 10% of comic buyers have a Twitter account and only half of those accounts are actually active. <laughs> shit, if these numbers are more or less correct, then who the fuck are Marvel and Disney listening to on Twitter when they're pandering these SJW ass fucking comic books. Who's the demographic now? Like, who are these comic books for? If these numbers are correct or something close to it. Ooh, shit. Thus, 95% of the comic book audience is not on Twitter, which must be mind blowing for the company marketing departments. He continued seemingly commenting on the recent turn by many publishers, including Marvel, DC, and even heavy metal towards ignoring, in some cases, even outright insulting their established fan bases in favor of appealing to imagined audiences on social media. And this is what we've been saying this whole time. And here it is. You got Mark Millar. I'm going to tell you something. He has his foot in the door of Hollywood. A lot of his properties... A lot of the shit that he's worked on and created are actually being made into movies and comic books. This guy has an ear on what's going on Hollywood, what's going on in the comic book industry. Holy shit. The Nemesis creator also drew attention to how once you factor in that the average person follows so many people that comic promos are easy to miss and you quickly realize Twitter is just a fun way to meet and chat with people who share various passions as opposed to a genuine marketing tool. And that's the thing. DC and Marvel has been using Twitter as a genuine marketing tool. Not to say it's not a bad idea, but what it is, is that the information that they're taking in, it's... It's not accurate. They're listening to the Twitter mob, being a part of it, and then finding out now that the percentage ain't, sh ain't worth shit. That you actually been listening to about 5% of a group of motherfuckers that don't even buy your comics, but you're listening to their input and what the fuck they have to say. And you're bending the knee to them and fucking the rest of us over, and we're your true fans buying your comic books ever since we were kids. Man, 
That's a fucking shame, man. When asked by a Twitter user if he could provide details on who he received this information from, Millar only revealed that it was a good pal of mine for marketing at one of the big two and added that he was really surprised by this too. But he said the amount of comic buyers on Twitter is even on the slide from there according to their parent company Deep Dives and makes little impact on units, which is fascinating. Millar further asserted, wow. In response to another user who broached the topic of the well-documented trend of comic book professionals using the social media platforms to engage in divisive and antagonistic behavior, Millar stated, some people stagger through the streets screaming at clouds, ignore them and focus on the fun stuff. Oh shit, he just took a jab at them motherfuckers. Just ignore what the fuck they're saying and look towards better things. I get it. Hell, good advice. <laughs> shit. Remember why you got into comic books in the first place and the thrill of your first convention and the thousands of people who love this stuff just as much as you do, wrote Millar. I've never been interested in the various Twitter wars and thus puts the whole thing in perspective. Exactly, shit. He's like, yo, I'm not even being a part of this bullshit. That's why I could sit back, look at it from all the different perspectives and after what his homeboy told him, he's like, okay, I see what the fucking problem is. And why the industry is fucking taking a hell of a nosedive. So what? So now that Mark Millar has put this out, what happens now? Are people going to go after him? Are the SJWs going to try to cancel him and tell him, oh, he's wrong and he's full of shit and he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about? So what happens? Twitter is going to go after him? The 5%? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The 5% of active comic uh accounts get the fuck out of here man again that goes to show that what ether van skyver and the other comic pros have been saying this whole time they've been right to see marvel and dc and other folks dynamite and whoever the fuck else is out there idw and a lot of them fucking Falling in line to this woke shit. Listening to about 5% of the motherfuckers on Twitter. They should be motherfucking shamed of themselves, for real. Stupid asses. So what do you make of the divide between social media marketing objectives and the actual comic book customer based allegedly revealed to Millar? Uh, man. Mark Millar just fucking, he just told the truth on everything that's wrong with the comic book industry right now and why the comic books are so bad and why the fuck they're not making any money and they can't make any sales. And when the actual fan like me and you complain, then we're racist, we're bigots, we're homophobic, we're this and we're that. Why? Because you just turned on us to listen to 5% of the motherfuckers on Twitter. And we telling you we don't like what the fuck you're doing to Batman and Superman. And you know, the funny thing is, the movie industry is at fault for this as well. The gaming industry is at fault for this as well. The music industry and all of entertainment is at fault for the same very shit. You're selling out your true customers for this small percentage of motherfuckers that don't even listen and buy your shit they're just using your shit for a platform and you pick them over us that's why your fucking industries are failing y'all let me know what y'all think about this shit in the comment section below please share like and subscribe if you haven't already it's your boy 24 7 with 24 7 fusion media and i'm out peace